M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you a remote connection to my local repeater. So I'm controlling my Vero 7500 in the normal way. I've got my Android device here and it's paired with this device and it's controlling it. But see this, this tablet here? This tablet will access GB3FI that I'm connected to anywhere in the world. So all right, it's in the room now. If I tap it, M0FXB M0 test. FXB. And you can see it's keying and it keys the local repeater. But this tablet could be in Australia. It doesn't have to be in my hometown. So it's not paired with this device here. So let me just show you how you do that. It's actually quite straightforward once you've created the memory channel. Let's zoom right in here. So the normal way of creating a memory channel. So what we'll do, we've, we've created it here. Let's create it for the next one along, which is GB3ZB. So if I go across, we're now on GB3ZB, and if I key up, M0FXB test. And I've just accessed this a different repeater. Now if I key up on the other device, GB3FI, that's accessing GB3FI, but not ZB. So let me show you how I could make it do ZB. The first thing you want to do is create a channel that is on your network, so on the internet, that people can join. So go here where you've got the drop down arrow and tap it. You get this new menu. Go to join network channel just here. And we're going to go create new channel. And we're going to call this one GB3. ZB remote, okay? Next, and we're gonna give it a password, 2626. Don't worry, I'll change it afterwards. It's just temporary. Okay, and that's it, we'll save that. And we've created a channel that is a remote channel. I'm gonna mute the other one. So you see these little clouds, if you mute them, it, dis it virtually disconnects them. So GB, ZB remote, so let's back out of that. Tap the three flat lines, then tap the arrow. Now go to the channel that we're going to make our remote channel. So hold your finger on it and you get edit channel. That's the normal thing that you can do. You could create a new channel and you're going to select bind network channel. So this effectively is going to link it to that network channel. Remember, network channel is an internet channel. You don't need to have the Vero to use that channel. You can use it with any app, you know, Android app. I'm pretty sure it'll work with iOS. So let's go bind channel and to unbind, you, well, I'll show you that afterwards. So we're gonna bind GB3ZB. Okay, now look, it says now, it says here, GB3ZB, GB3ZB. It says it twice, but it actually says GB3ZB remote. There's just not enough room there. So we have bound it. Let's just double check, hold it down again. Now, we can unbind it so it becomes a normal channel, but also look, relay mode, and we can delete it as well. So it's now relay mode. So because it's in relay mode, we can now access it using my tablet, which is an Android tablet, by the way. So let's try it out. So if we go to the tablet, which is not as very clear as the my smartphone, but I think clear enough. So now we need to find that. So that's where we are now. We're gonna go click the three dots and we're gonna go uh, switch, okay? And then we're gonna search it. So up here it says join. And we're gonna search in the little magnifying glass here. Click search and we're gonna go G, we call it G, B, sorry, three. It might find it sooner. Z, B we want, Z, B, remote. There it is there. Now remember, I could be in Australia, I'm in the UK. It's asking for the passcode, 2626. And then, okay. And we'll just tap it again to make sure that we join. Select it again. Sorry, we just gotta make sure that we have actually connected to it. GBZ3 remote, connected, okay. Hopefully you can see that. Good evening. Blurry. Good evening. Good evening. That, and that is GB3ZB. Now, 
I can actually access it. So I'm going to lift this up here because I want you to see that when I access it, let's get this back to the normal screen. I'm going to key here. And when I access it, it keys up my radio. And don't forget, this could be in Australia. It's not Bluetooth paired. And let's see if we can have a talk, a chat on it. Now, my audio won't be great because it's picking up the audio from this, from this device. M0FXB, call in for a contact. And that's it. Lots of messages coming through. So I, I just think that's fantastic. That's, it's not something I'd use that often, I don't think. But who knows, maybe. I mean, it's very handy, isn't it? So now to just unpair it so that we, it doesn't work that way, we just hold our finger down. Unbind. Or even delete. I'm just going to unbind it for now. Because it's quite a good repeat to that. And that's it. And then if we go back to my usual map here. Usual map. Usual channel, I can go dual channel. Look at that, A and B. I just think it's really good the way it works. And that's just, we'll uh, disconnect the, the laptop completely. So we just tap on it. And go switch, or we'll just turn it off really. Okay, we're gonna open the door. So I think that's enough, you got the idea. So uh, how to create a remote connection to your local repeater. Bye for now, 7-3.